What's going on world? This video here is to explain how I hook up my Casio with the CTK 491 keyboard up to my computer so I can use it as a MIDI controller. It's not that difficult to do. You only need a couple of things that couple of pieces of hardware in order to do it. I get a lot of questions about how to do this all the time and I try my best to try to explain it on through messages and through uh, feedback. I mean I've been getting the questions so many times I, I decided to go ahead shoot a video and explain to you or show you what I do and hopefully that will be able to help you guys out out there. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, now these are the two pieces of hardware that I use to uh, achieve this other than the keyboard and my computer. Um, first thing you're going to need is this right here. This one here is my M Audio. It's called the MIDI Sport Uno or the Mini Band. Um, MIDI Sport Uno and I have this right here which is a quarter inch headphone adapter as well and um, I'll explain what you need this for later okay um, this is the the back of the keyboard and right here you have your your mic in your mic volume your MIDI out your MIDI in, your sustain, that's for your sustain pedal if you have one, your power, and you have your your headphones outlet. Alright, so what you're going to need to do, what I, and this is what I do, take your cords, you take your two MIDI in and plug that in on MIDI in take your two MIDI out and plug that in which is labeled here on the actual MIDI cable okay now that the MIDI cable is plugged in what you want to do is you want to take your quarter inch headphone jack and you want to plug that in to your phone jack headphone jack This is just a little tool so you don't have to turn down the volume on the keyboard every time you turn it on. Okay, once you have everything plugged up, this is what you should see. You should have this light right here blinking, letting you know that you actually have power and a connection from your keyboard to your USB port. And to make sure that you're sending a MIDI signal, you can tap the keyboard. Like I'm, I'm doing it. I'm tapping the keyboard here right now, and you can actually see right here. The second light here is also blinking, and the flashing light. Every time I hit the keyboard, is letting me know that I have a MIDI signal going to the com computer. Okay, now we have uh, FL Studios open up and we're going to check and make sure that everything is correct on this end. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go up here to options and then you want to scroll down to MIDI settings or you can just hit F10 on your, on your keyboard and you're going to want to look at right here at inputs and right here it says USB Uno MIDI interface all right you want to and once you see that you're going to want to set it the controller type here make sure you have it set to generic controller and make sure it's active if it's not active you want to there's a little little thing right here and you just want to make sure it, this is highlighted and then hit enable 
okay now if you don't see your USB MIDI interface on there what you want to do is you want to come down here to rescan MIDI devices and click that and FL Studios is going to once again search again for any MIDI controllers or any type of MIDI devices on air. Once you do that, you should be able to get you should be getting a MIDI signal into FL Studios. And we'll, let's go ahead and let's just get a sound on here. just to prove that it works. Okay, hope this video was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below or just shoot me a message. Um, feel free to like and subscribe to see more videos or if you have any other questions or any suggestions or any other videos that I should put up go ahead hit me down below and I'll try to answer your questions or maybe put up a video as soon as possible alright uh, practice and enjoy